somewhere in space. This may all be happening right now. Old school Star Wars fans, those of us who shun the episode number and New Hope label, know that May 25th, not May the 4th, is the real Star Wars day. Because in 1977, that's the day the original film came out. So what better way to celebrate than with a new Star Wars movie? And let me get to the point quickly and say, Solo, A Star Wars Story is not the hot mess I feared it would be after firing its filmmakers and putting Ron Howard in the director's seat. Thought we were in trouble there for a second, but it's fine. We're fine. Howard actually proves to be a good choice to fill in because he's a filmmaker with no discernible style and understands that he simply needed to deliver a product that would fit in the Star Wars universe and not be prequel bad. He's back. <laughs> For me, the heart of Star Wars films has always been about delivering an adventure to delight my inner 12-year-old, something that pays homage to the Saturday morning serials my dad showed me. Solo delivers on that. It's not perfect, and it's not as stylish or as clever as I would have liked, but it's fun and expands on Han's story in ways I enjoyed. But if Solo is sold out, or you want something less mainstream, then check out the indie film Beast. To my family, for everything you've done for me, I forgive you. A young woman rebels against her oppressive family by turning to an outsider who's suspected of murder. You have blood on your hands. Beast keeps taking unexpected turns as it weaves a tense and compelling psychological study of two damaged and potentially violent young people. So this weekend, you can choose between a franchise film that delivers its formula well and an indie film that keeps surprising you. <laughs> Beth Accomando, KPBS News.